Everybody who grew up with a Sega Genesis all had the same thought. How can I make my own game and how can I do it without doing any work? When everyone realizes that they have to learn programming, nobody wants to, to really do it. Exactly. So here's a program that I found. Second Basic Studio, made by a Second Dimension. This page has all of the commands, okay? How do you think you print text onto the screen? Uh, print. Print. Gold digger. Gold digger. This is called a K-Mod. It's a classic hacked emulator compiled project. Yep. Yeah. So yeah. easy. We are now programmers. <laughs> How do you think we can change the color? Mm. Um, color? Color. <laughs> Here are the uh, different uh, color palettes. So it's like zero, one, two, three, four. Blue. Let's see light blue. I really hope it's one. How are you going to ask me to pick a color but not know what the number is? Yeah, okay, yeah, there you go. So, oh, congratulations. Uh, one of the things here is random, right? And it even gives you like the code for it. So Just copy and paste. Random. Well, let's press four, right? And so now when I do it, now it just like randomly chose color, right? But that's kind of boring. If you make a loop, maybe it keeps changing color. And so once it gets to go do, it'll just go to start. Huh. I wonder if it'll fill up all the RAM and then just <laughs> crash the game. So let's make it slower, okay? Uh, sleep, let's say... 10. The sleep is slow down, basically. Now you can actually see what's going on here. These are like leaked documents. Oh, and from the actual, the, the real development yeah. kits. 1989, Sega of Japan, oh wow. I yeah, it's, it's like... The confidential. Kind of, yeah. that, that's interesting, it actually breaks down like the background, like almost like the actual different planes. Let's check out like the planes, okay? Uh, this is on plane A. So basically this is parallax scrolling. Plane A is the background, and plane, and plane B would be the foreground or vice versa. Exactly. And as I um, move around my cursor, it says which tile, like I'm on, it's going like one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's try to actually get some graphics, you know, on the screen. Like, what do you think? Please. Like, like besides tech. Please. So uh, these tiles are the graphics, and if you look down here, it says the memory address. Mm -hmm. And so let's splatter four on the screen somewhere. Draw tile, VRAM it address corner of the coordinate. So I go back here, random within 100 height, and then random within uh, 100, uh, with, uh, whatever. It's two randoms, I don't know, I don't know which one is which. Oh, there we go. Taking, Sparkle magic! And so it's taking like the, uh, like the fourth tile and it's uh, randomly putting it on the page. This is like one of those party dresses with all like the shimmering colors on it. How do you add your own graphics? Here we go, like Rocket, close enough. You should use Art Alive. <laughs> She's our life because it's a Sega program. Now remember this, uh, 32 by 32? If you do okay. it by 64 by 64 with a Sega just burst the flames, I mean, that would be pretty funny. Uh, another ancient app is this one here. I'm a Genesis. Hi, <laughs> I'm a Genesis. Okay, there it is. Okay. It does look, look so pixelated when it's a thumbnail. For data. Okay, you know what? Wow, 1998. We're gonna shoot from the hip here because the other program didn't work, so. Okay. Rocket man. Okay, so mode. Genesis, I'll put a mode sprite. Save palette or save tiles? Oh. Well, both. And every now and then you get a rocket pile. ASM and then end. Then end ASM. End it now. Don't forget to paste it first. So let's see if that loads into memory. Of course not. Okay, so here's a program to where you can make graphics, right? 32? 32. Okay, here you go. Rocket. Wait, I can... <laughs> hey, if you make the eye, it'll be like the bullet guy from uh, Mario Brothers. Give it an eye. Go ahead. Go back to the tools. Uh, and it's like a basic code, isn't that the Yeah, thing? so like if you look on the main thing, like it tells you about sprites here. We'll see how how much of this actually works and it'll fix it. All right, Holy actually, crap, yeah. it actually works. What I love is that it jarbled it up. Turned it into like one of those puzzles where you gotta like, you have one block empty and you gotta move things around. That's what happened, that's what went wrong. It just looks like a big giant middle finger. Hey, uh, that's close enough to me. I want the impression you already have a working model somewhere. Maybe you should fast forward and that way, no, 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 well, no, I mean, for editing purposes, no one will know the difference. Here's the, uh, Rocket ship. Okay, now the question is, uh, will this work on a real Sega? Now that I put the ROM like on this uh, multi-cart, let's uh, check it out. Ship. Yeah. I, you know, it's full screen glory. I mean, yeah, sure. This is not a game per se. It's just a rocket. Like, I'm move, moving up and down. One last uh, message here. Subscribe, everybody. Subscribe. We worked so hard to, just to get this. <laughs> I love how some of the things just say sus. Like, <laughs> yeah. like, like how all our videos are pretty sus.